What is up YouTube, Dots Gaming here, and today I'm going to share with you guys my current thoughts and feelings on WoW, and my thoughts about WoW in the future. So, honestly, right now, WoW is kind of kind of boring me to tears, if we're going to be honest. Logging in kind of feels like a chore, because it's just, I don't know, the PvP for WoW seems really just, it just it's stale, there's not a lot of people playing, and... It's just, it's just not good right now, to put it lightly. Um, I still have been playing it and trying to, you know, motivate myself to play and try to have fun, you know, because I want to make the videos for YouTube. But it's it's becoming an effort, and I'm going to have to kind of see what I'm going to do because, you know, we still have months until Legion. And I honestly think that Blizzard needs to do something between now and Legion to kind of keep players here until then otherwise i think they're gonna have a really big dip before legion but enough about the gloom and doom i want to talk about the good stuff because the legion pvp preview came out three days ago and i am freaking pumped this is gonna be oh it's gonna be great because first of all the honor system is changing I'll tell you my favorite part in a second, but let's go through all the other crap first. So the honor system's changing. For those of you who don't know, you are going to start gaining, instead of honor points, you're going to have like a kind of a separate experience bar for PvP, where you will gain points, you'll level up, you'll gain talents for PvP only as you level up, and once you get to level 50, kind of like Call of Duty, you can prestige, and you can get mounts, cosmetics, but you'll drop all the way back to level 1 and have to earn your abilities all over again. So my guess is that high level arena players will most likely stay at level 50 and if they're bored and their normal player like their normal partners are not on then maybe they'll prestige and try to grind out some more bgs but i think this is good to keep the casual pvp or the bg guy um give him something more to do so in terms of gear though they're getting rid of pvp gear no more points conquest honor you name it gear has very low impact now on pvp there is still an impact though as you can see um your predetermined pvp stats will increase by 0.1 percent based on your average item level that means a 25 item level difference between two players only results in a 2.5 difference in stats compared to the 25 percent difference it makes today so your average eye level will just increase your, the stats that you gain in PvP combat by 0.1% for every point. So, it's gear is going to still be important to give you like that little bit of edge, but it's not going to be as super um, game-breaking as it is right now. Um, also, you're probably wondering, how do PvPers get gear if we don't have PvP gear anymore? You know, if you don't buy it through points. Well, apparently you're just going to get gear through doing PGs and arena and stuff like that. So, we'll just earn our gear through actually playing. But, now, this right here is the moment I've been waiting for. Because, as you all know, I play on the Horde currently. And the Horde is not in its, not in its greatest spot right now. But, as you see here... You will be ha you will be getting your end of the season PvP rewards faction separate instead of in relation to the overall player base. That means the top you know X percent of the horde I forget what the exact number is will be glad that top X percent of the alliance will be glad. It's not going to be two factions together. So if let's say the horde has like one percent of the PvP population on it, you know you might get gladiator rating at eighteen hundred. You know and. In my opinion, this change is the perfect way to balance out the two factions because if, let's say, the Alliance is completely dominant and the Horde's got no one, people are going to want to try to change the Horde to get quote-unquote easy glad. And then if the Horde becomes dominant, people are going to want to transfer to the Alliance to get quote-unquote easy glad. So I'm hoping that this change will keep it 50-50 so that everyone feels like, okay, I want to have you know an even opportunity to get Gladiator or you know rival whatever you strive for personally so this makes me so happy this change because let me tell you trying to pvp super competitively on the horde 
is a struggle, but you know, I just I like Blood Elves, I like the Horde races more, so that's why I'm still there. Um, we get two more arenas in Legion. And like I said, Prestige gives us a bunch of a bunch of crap. As you can see right here, you can pause the video if you want to look at it. But the main thing I want to talk to you guys about is the uh, the season stuff for the factions. I, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, I gotta make a video about this and I want to talk about it. So I hope you guys are just as excited for Legion as I am. I'm not sure what Blizzard's gonna do or what I'm gonna do about WoW in between now and Legion, but we shall see. So hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And you know, if you need any guides, take a look at my channel. So I'm Dots Gaming, guys. Stay frosty and have a good day.